Hello, ladies and gentlemen, as we say here in Iceland, Shangalauban. Shangalauban. So, today we're going to learn something super cool, which is basically called the ATC redirect. Now, what that allows us to do is use the hard ice one skills we've learned, for example, using the ATC as a ratchet and also using the ATC to belay. We're going to combine both of those and learn how to lower somebody on an ice climb and then belay them back out. And as I said, these are skills you already know. We're just going to put them together so you can do the coolest ice climbing, which is from top down, in our humble opinion. So let's get started. First, we have the climber here. This is Shangalau Ban. I'm Shangalau Ban 1. Radio names here we have in Iceland. I'm going to set up the anchor. Now, if we look at the anchor here, we have a locking and a non-locker. We have a 120 sling that's equalized to the direction of pull, which is where the climber will be climbing. We have an overhand knot here with a usable shelf and a focal point. I have myself attached to the screw up here. This is my personal safety, a clove hitch that's adjustable, going to me on an eight with a locking carabiner. Okay, now I have the slack on the ground and I have the other side, which I'll be using for the climber. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna use is the ATC. The ATC is gonna go in here in the focal point. I'm also gonna put a carabiner here as well. I'm gonna put a carabiner next to the carabiner for the ATC. And if we notice, this carabiner basically is where the high friction mode of the ATC would be. So the high friction mode is here where the teeth are, the rope comes out and goes back through this carabiner. We're gonna see that happen in a moment. I'm gonna put this down. I'm going to grab my next carabiner. This carabiner will be for the shelf. This will be for putting the ATC in guide mode. And remember when you're clipping the shelf, just to review again, you're not clipping like so. This is not clipping the shelf properly. You're gonna clip between both legs, as you can see here. That is clipping the shelf properly, so make sure we do that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is get the rope for the climber. This is gonna go on the client here. And of course, they're still in a safe zone because they're not on belay yet, so they're three meters from the edge at a minimum. Now we're gonna go over here and attach this to the system. So let's get started. I'm gonna take the ATC. I'm gonna put the rope in. Now how do I put the rope in? So I have the climber strand and what will become the brake strand. So the climber strand goes in opposite of the high friction mode as we can see. The high friction mode is where the brake would be. This is where the brake would be here. I'm gonna put this through the carabiner like so. I'm gonna screw down so you don't screw up. Screw gates go down. Now the next step I'm gonna do is I have this on. I'm gonna redirect this through this carabiner. Through the carabiner as you can see here. This is how it looks right now. I'm gonna close this carabiner. Okay, so this is where we are. We have the climber strand coming through here, going through the carabiner, through the high friction mode, and then being redirected. Okay, so that's step one, which I'm done now, and I have this in the shelf, unlocked, ready to go. The step two is when we're lowering somebody, we always need to have a safety. So I'm gonna put a three wrap prusik on the brake strand here. Let's get started with that. So I'm using a 1.5 meter, seven millimeter cordlet, which would be the proper size for a nine millimeter rope. Nice, all right, so there we go, that's on. That's gonna go on me. Okay, so now I'm ready. I wanna make sure my climber's ready. So I'm gonna check my carabiners, check the anchor here. I have a non-locker there, locked, locked. The client's good, I'm gonna check the crampons, of course, if they have them on. Check the harness, nice and tight above the hips. Helmet, they have the ice axes, they understand what to do. And they also have tethers, which are attaching the ice axes to the rope, um, just in case it's a larger hole. Okay, so now I'm gonna inform the climber to approach the edge. You're gonna approach the edge climber and just take a few steps back. The climber's approaching the edge. Now I want you to notice what's happening here, right? So I have control of this right here. Now, as I slowly lower the climber down, as we can see, the climber's getting lowered. As we watch, basically, the rope is going through the redirect, pulling the high, the high friction mode here, and then going back down to the climber, right? So we're going down, we're going down, going down a little bit more. And now we get to the point where the climber says stop, and the climber wants to climb. So now what I have to do as a guide, number one, is the climber's going to get ready to climb. I'm gonna wait for that moment. In the meantime, I'm gonna put a catastrophe knot behind my prusik. So I'm putting a catastrophe knot here. Because in a moment, I'm going to go hands-free. And if you remember, the ATC is not a hands-free device. So we put a catastrophe knot here because worst case scenario, the catastrophe knot hits the prusik. Uh, if something happens there, the catastrophe knot will not go through the ATC. 
So that's why we have it on. Now I'm getting ready for the climber to start climbing. So climber, you can climb. The climber's beginning to climb. Now as soon as the climber climbs, starts to climb, I'm gonna put this, as you can see here. I'm gonna do that one more time. I'm gonna take it back, right, the climber back up a little bit. The climber's here. You know, I have a catastrophe knot here backing up. I have the prussic still on the line. The climber's getting ready to climb. The climber's climbing. There's some slack in the system. Immediately goes into the guide ring. Let's pause. It goes into the guide ring. Now, I lock this carabiner. And guys, right now, this is in guide mode. This is the ratchet that you all know during the three to one Z-drag system, which you learned during the course, or the six to one. Um, this is the ratchet that we're using. And now, the simple thing is, all I'm gonna do is as the climber starts climbing, I'm just taking out the slack. Simple as that. Simple as that. Now let's pause a moment. So if we look at this system here, we notice the carabiner is still here. Should I take the redirect carabiner out? The redirect carabiner honestly doesn't matter. It doesn't affect the system at all. The system is a very smooth system. So you could take it out. If I wanted to take it out, I would simply unscrew it. Um, personally, I probably wouldn't take it out because it's just smooth. It's a fast system. You don't need to remove the carabiner. But if you want to, you can. And of course, you still have the system which you remember which is the three to one Z drag system here using the ATC in guide mode. And the last thing, the great, the great thing about this is now, if I need to haul the climber up, let's say they're gassed, I can easily put a three to one, a, I can put a, a prussic here, create a three to one, uh, I could haul them out, I could do a five to one, a seven to one double mariner. Um, there's many ice climbing rescues that we've, we can learn on the videos which were previously made, so make sure to check them out. But this is all we have to do. And now as the climber is climbing, keep climbing. You know, this is, this is it. You know, the climber comes up here. He's come next to me. You know, and, and this is safe. This is a safe system. Just make sure, remember, that this is not a hands-free system. So if you do need to take your hands off again to do an ice climber rescue or an ice climber assist or a vector pull, as I said, all these things are covered in the video, please make sure that you put a catastrophe knot before you go hands-free, right? Because this is not a hands-free system. Beyond that, Beautiful system, ATC redirect, and what we're gonna say here, as we always say, in the land of fire and ice, Shangalaoban. Shangalaoban, my friends. Until next time, deuces.